kasama namin. Ito si Sam. Si Sam. Si Sam na walang malay. <laughs> We were on the American side, so the tariffs and taxes were high. So the Northwest Company, who was one of the biggest fur trading companies in the world at that time, owned that fort. So they were British, and they were fighting with the Americans. So they moved up here in 1798. So, 300 years ago. <laughs> 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 Para signal. <laughs> Dito kami sa Port William. Para na sa Jurassic. <laughs> ano tuloy? Ano? Pako to, di ba? Tak enak pedi sahaja jen. Masa jurasi tu. Kalau pun tak kami tubigan, mukta tadi kami palai. Ya. Porok lah. Datuk datuk. Datuk datuk. But if you're a serial killer, I guess you can make it out of your own shirt. Is this human bone? Bijuan mah. Bijuan, bijuan kita. Kumaruh nungka na. Tiga baby shot mu. Meron niya yung bola, di ba? Oo. Tuwin eh. Oo, libre ka na. Ire-repando yung kinsi ko. Kasi nga sabihin mo. I did. Sabihin mo ilit. So big one here is a bison. We get it by trading with the free because we don't have bison here. But they do. Ito yung lutoan nila. Malibo ng bison Saan? Bison? Eh ito para saan ito? Hindi nga Putang gabo Hindi ko na Down lang Ito bison ito May buntot Kapal na Parang ako Kapal talaga Eto, aso? Ah, what is this? That is dog. Wolf. Wolf. Ah, wolf. Wolf. Yeah. Yeah, bird. Yeah, the fox. Eto, what is? Oh, this actual wolf. 
It's wolf skin. Yeah. I have beaver. Lucky, I know. Pwede mo parang picture sa kaan? Picture mo kami kami dalawa ni ate. Asa yung picture nito? Ito, pipindutin mo lang ito. Ito. One more. Okay, yeah, they're pretty small. What is that? Here's an otter. And uh, the it's big the fox, so big mouth. Catch one, I would say this huh? one. It's very fox? nice. <laughs> mouth. Oh, this is the bigger one. This one. That one's a silver fox. This one is a super rare. You'll see a lot more beavers in the first Oh. Yeah. The one beside it is a cross fox. The pattern of it has a cross on it. Thank you. Where is the cross? Oh, oh, on this it? one's the cross. Ah, okay. See? <laughs> See the cross? Ah, yeah. Okay. It's crazy. Eh? Mm -hmm. And nature does be on the back of this one here. Yeah, it's like... Ah, yeah. Existing until today? Yes. Mm -hmm. They still exist. These, and these are my favorite. These are ermines. They're like oh, little yeah. rodents. They're awesome. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. It's <laughs> same like they're mouse, like long yeah, mouse. Yeah, they're like weasels. Yeah. You can kind of see this. Oh, thing. oh we got to oh, go. Oh, yeah. Bye. Just leaving. Bye. <laughs> just give us one hour. <laughs> Maganda. Maganda. Saan? <laughs> Andon. <laughs> Saan banda? <laughs> so, the train would come here. The road would come up. And they would unload goods. Whatever was coming in. Provisions, food, that kind of stuff. So, basically, because this was the center of Canada, stuff that was coming from Montreal would have been uh, liquor, food, grease, uh, all the provisions that basically that they needed to support this work and keep it going. take a jar with a metal top and they would hold it to uh, to this part of the machine it creates a charge so if you had a sore elbow they'd zap you in the elbow with with electricity and they thought that was what was going to cure your ailments but when i worked here we actually we actually made a kid pass out because <laughs> we bring in these tours and we get one to hold this, this end and one to hold the other end and not touch or like not touch each other so you're not making a chain, but then once you touch each other, that electricity goes through that kid's hand into the other kid. <laughs> and it was a really hot, humid day, and I cranked it up real good, and I snapped this kid, and he went right on the floor. <laughs> but we used to have a contest to see who, we, who could make a kid pass out <laughs> with the most gruesome story, and I did it with electricity. So it was really weird, so. There are people that have seen. Uh, I'll give you an idea. This is this is how I used to make kids pass out. So, are you squeamish? Are you gonna fall down on me? No. Okay, okay because this is an enema right here. That's what they did. Uh, this guy here is what I made the kid actually pass out on. So, they used to they oh, actually sorry it's right here. They used to um, believe in in bloodletting. Uh, it's still big in some cultures. Bloodletting. So these are cupping jars. So you would heat these up. This guy here has little blades in it. See those little slots? Mm -hmm. So what they would do is if you were suffering from a headache or you had chronic problems, they'd actually put this up against your temple. It, those blades come out and they create holes in the side of your head and then the cupping jar would go on that and it would draw the blood out. Um, if that didn't work, <laughs> trepan was the next, so this is the trepan. So this, that little spike goes in the side of your head, that would crank and pop a piece of your skull out and then they would actually relieve the pressure in your brain that way. Oh my and that's, and you twist, and that's how they would pull teeth. Um, same sort of idea, if you can't get the tooth out, they would gouge it out. 
Um, like these are some primitive. These are early. These are early medical um, instruments. Uh, obviously, bone saw for cutting off the legs and that. Uh, the same for cutting uh, the meat around the leg. Um, that's a retractor for pulling uh, back to see the bone and that kind of thing. So these are these are some ar these are actual tools for that time. These are artifacts. So that's why the life expectancy was so. Low. That's why life. Yeah, the life expectancy would be more for the um, uh, stopping the blood flow when you're cutting the leg off. <laughs> Did we lose Brian? Did we lose Brian? He might have gone on his own. So th this is the top hat. Sorry. <laughs> so this is the reason we're living here. Ito mga beaver. Beaver ko beaver. Pwede ba ito iganda? So here we are in this building. This is a four point blanket. This is the best blanket you can get. Okay, well, if you want a three point blanket, I'll say this thing down here. But that's, that's how they, they, they the, this is a beaver fur. This is the beaver, kid side beaver. That's how they come in. Right? So they, they would pack these, they would pack these in bundles. Like this is a bundle, this is supposed to be a bundle of furs. Okay? So each one of these bundles would weigh 90 pounds. Okay, so if you're a voyageur and you're hired on to paddle the canoe, if you're in the canoe, you're required to carry at least two of those, and if you carry three, you get more money. Wow. So every time they get out of the canoe to walk, they're carrying at least 180 pounds or more. Some would carry two of those, and they put a, a, a barrel, this is called a firkin, they put this on their on their shoulders, that weighs about 90 pounds as well. Okay, that's where all the money is. We could also trade in stuff like fabric, you can make clothing, so it swam. These are called beaver casters. <laughs> so, do you know what a caster is? No. Okay, so on the back, you know how a skunk when you spray so they it makes small that smell? Small fox. Well, those are called casters. It's so they're, they're located... It's here. mother over. There's one on either side of the butt, and beaver casters are still used to oh, this one uh, for making perfume and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And trappers will actually use the casters to rub it on the side of the canoe, um, and the beaver smells it and will actually... Uh, to come to the yeah, that's a little bit of 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 a little so once they're dry, this doesn't look like much, but this is called a fur press. Mm -hmm. So they would put the furs, there'd be a block of wood on the bottom here, they'd put the stack the furs in, and there was like a like a crank on top, and it would squish them all down. So they would go in, those are all supposed to be bales of fur, basically. So they'd squish them down, they'd wrap them, and then they'd tie them up, and they'd, they, they, the voyagers would carry them with what's called a tump line. So it's a leather, just a piece of leather, looks like a fur strap, mm -hmm. and that tump line went around the top of the, the fur, and it hooked the two bales together, and it would go over their head. So they would have the strap across their head and that's so their necks were just always under stress mm -hmm. but that tump line was what helped them carry those two two packs but this there would be a, it's kind of dismantled but it would squish everything together so it was in smaller smaller packs and mm -hmm. be able to carry it but, so we have quite a bit of so the ones that are sleeping in the in the are your very brave very brave leader uh he said uh Napoleon sending 10 ships, please fetch me my red jacket because he was worried if he got shot that the enemy would see the blood so he wanted to have a red jacket. Second day, Napoleon sent 20 ships. Nelson said, please get me my red jacket because I don't want Napoleon to see if I've been shot and I'm bleeding. And the third day, Napoleon sent 100 ships and Nelson looked at his, his partner and said, 
bring me my brown pants. Because <laughs> he was worried he was going to poop. <laughs> That's the joke. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. This stuff here that looks like thread, that's actually spruce roots. Uh, and then the uh, black is made of uh, spruce gum, fine resin, animal fat, and charcoal. So you mix it all together. And uh, when I was working here, it was uh, some kind of silicone paper putty. Picture. I'm going to. Oh, it's so dark. It's <laughs> so dark. Yeah, look at all the mosquitoes. You can see them. <laughs> oh, yeah, the mosquitoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, take me to me to move. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get drive our when I worked back there we yeah. would drive all of our cars around here oh. and, and do things and then you'd have to ah, drag still this have. so that there were no cars, right? <laughs> you look like one of those humanitarian ads we're all gonna gather around. Yeah. We made a well here guys. Nobody else For is excited children. to make water? <laughs> 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 That's how I get my water. That's how I get my water back here. It's a well run. It's where we get our water from. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it smells in here. <laughs> no, there's not. So these are just um uh -huh. Hey, come here. <laughs> so there's like the pen. Make um, chicken masala. <laughs> 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 